I was set up. I did not do it. Bounce from town to town like rubber checks. Bagel. Johnny Vega. Didn't know at the time I'd pay double for the crime. Not to mention a serious problem Johnny. with the opposite sex. I'm his ex-wife. I guess that's friggin' that. Like an anchovy to an alley cat. Johnny Vega's gonna have to stay a little further down the lost highway. I forget the stomach. I'm starving, and all I hear about is how much food we grow in this country. Where the hell is it? Freaking thing's made of tin. Hey! Stop where you are! Now turn around real slow and keep your hands where I can see them. That's right. Hey, right, don't shoot! Look, I wasn't gonna take your pie. I, I didn't even have my technic shots this year for crying out loud. Look, um, you don't suppose I could have some food in exchange for cutting down some of these weeds over here? Those aren't weeds. That's corn. You're kidding, that's corn? Just take a chicken and get out of here. Well, thank you. That's that's very nice of you. Thank you very much. Hey, that's a plastic one. Take one that moves. Gotta <laughs> be a nice chicken. Nice chicken. Chicken. So who was that? I don't know. Some drifter. But I got rid of him. Be a nice chicken. This be a nice chicken. Oh. All right. What's wrong? You seem uptight about something. I'm fine. You thinking about the future? Don't worry. We'll be okay. It's time. what you're gonna do once they close this place down? Uh, yeah, we've got some irons in the fire. A few possibilities, don't we, Kirk? Bombs away. Greenhouse. 
Calla and Lily have bloomed. For the last time. Yeah. Boris Yeltsin and the president sit down and have a cup of tea together. Next thing you know, we're out of a damn job. Oh, come on, Kurt. The Pentagon shutting these things down is the best thing that could have happened to us. We should be proud of ourselves. We defended America, made the world a safer place, and we never had to push the button. Oh, that's a lot of training going to waste. <laughs> Lieutenant Swenson, as your commanding officer, I hereby order you to cheer up. <laughs> You got a last request? You want a blindfold? How about a cigarette? No? How about a drink? Hey. No? I know. All this talk about change is making you nervous. It's okay, I understand. It's a big step. But just remember that you're not alone. There's two of us now, you know, to face the future together. Take tilt to whirls for instance. Oh, yeah, we can get these things cheap. You know, load them on the back of a truck, take them around the country, and rake in the cash. They make me sick. What? tilt to whirls They make me want to throw up. Oh, well, you know, you don't have to ride them. You just have to operate them. <laughs> Nella, can I talk to you about something? Sure. I, uh... I had dinner with Cheryl. Cheryl? As in your ex-wife, Cheryl? When did you do that? I, I don't know, last week sometime. That wouldn't have been the night you were supposed to be at the men's glee club, would it? Thursday, I believe? Well, who's the little deceiver? I didn't want to talk about it until I knew for sure. You see, Cheryl thought that she and I could, you know, work together. The two of you were going to turn out spark plug earrings and spoon bracelets? No, I'm not going to be making the jewelry. Cheryl's the artist. I'm going to handle the business end. See, she needs someone who can uh, take her stuff out to swap meets and flea markets. So, from being a guy whose finger could launch an intercontinental ballistic missile with an 11 megaton nuclear warhead, you're going to go out and hawk her jewelry in parking lots? Well, I'm sorry, Nella. I'm just not cut out for tilt -a whirls Well, tilt -a whirls was only one suggestion. <laughs> this is it, pencil neck. Say goodbye. And listen, when you get up there, give a glove to Chico Roselli and tell him I didn't do it. It was the bimbo. Oh, what am I telling you this for? Ethley Bailey, you're not. I don't even know why we're discussing this. It's so clear to me that you've already made up your mind. You, you don't want to stay with me. Come on, Nella. It's a professional relationship, that's all. A professional relationship? Oh! That's how our relationship started, remember? Oh, uh, calm down. She's not going to replace you. You are such a liar. I don't know why you can't just, just can't come out and say it. You're still in love with her and you want to go back to her. That just isn't true, Cheryl. I mean, Nella. Oh. All these are hard times. The, the Cold War has ended. And people are forced to make difficult life choices. Oh, I see. So you're not a liar. You're a social scientist. I wish I could make you understand, Nella. She's a very strong woman. Oh, and you're weak. Ah, oh, I can't do it, damn it! Why am I so chicken? What am I saying? I'm not a chicken, you are! I got an idea. Make us some eggs. That way, I eat and you live. Come here, you. When I think of all the time I wasted taking care of you. Who was it that always made sure we had a thermos of homemade soup down here? Who always washed your uniform? Who helped you qualify with small arms? You did. And I couldn't have asked for a better partner. Partners? Is that all we were to each other, Kurt? Partners? 
No, no, I didn't mean it that way. After spending 24 hours a day together, every day for three whole years, making love every night in the shadow of a nuclear warhead, I am so glad to know that we weren't lovers, just partners. Yeah, but don't be so dramatic. Hey, we'll still see each other. Look, the fact that I'm working with Cheryl, it's not the end of the world. Well, maybe. Nella, you're not acting like a soldier, Nella. You're acting hysterical. Maybe I am hysterical. I don't know, what, what would a hysterical woman do in this situation? Let's... Nella, now, Nella, what are, you, what are you doing? I'm gonna launch a missile, Kurt. I'm gonna send one up before you and Cheryl find it someday in some surplus store and turn it into earrings. Nella, Nella, don't do anything foolish here. Shoot this. I've got your gun, Kurt. You left it upstairs. I'm always picking up after you, aren't I? Come here, chicky, 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 chicky. Come here, chicky, 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 chicky. Come on, you. Come on. Come on, chicky, 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 chicky. Make what the eggs burn, Dick. Come on. Okay, okay, you've made your point. I can see that you're a little angry with me, Nella. Nella, think. You don't want to hurt innocent people. Hurt them? I'm going to put them out of their misery. I'll bet there are thousands of women out there with insensitive jerks like you who would be happy to be hit on the head with a missile rather than go through the inevitable pain you're putting me through. Please listen to me. No. I'm tired of listening to you. Especially since you're not saying anything I want to hear. No. Yep. No. 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 By the way, you missed some nice soup today. taken our silo off alert. Once the guy starts flying, he just can't stop. It was taken off operational alert. Come here, you little... Come here, Kurt. Come here. But aren't you forgetting something, Nella? You need two launch boats to get a missile out of here. Now, who are you going to get to come down here and push the other button? See my chicken? Look, lady, I was just chasing my chicken and I fell. What is this place? Oh, you don't know where you are? You expect me to believe that story? You're a spy. I I'm not a spy. I'm, I'm not even looking. Look, I'll, I'll keep my eyes closed. This way, if I'm someplace where I'm not supposed to be, you, you, you can just push me the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. Like I'm really allowed to let spies go waltzing in and out of here. Turn around, get down on your knees, and put your hands in your pockets. Let's see. Let's Look, see. lady, uh, do I have to stay on my knees? It's, it, it's very uncomfortable for me. It, it must be from all those years being an altar boy. What's your name? Johnny. I hate that name. But my mother calls me Joe. Well, Joe, do you really want to get out of here? Yes, please. Well, I might be able to do something for you. And that is, if you do something for me first. A little thing. Like what? Push a few buttons. Oh, look, lady, I don't know nothing about this stuff. But I can certainly give it a try.
Officer Beverly Florio with the NYPD, and I'm looking for this man. Have you seen him? Oh, you mean Johnny? Yeah, that's right, Johnny. Uh, I need to talk to him. Is he around here somewhere? Oh, no, he, uh, he and a uh, timber doodle left a couple days ago. Did he say where he was going? Let's see. I believe he said he was heading west on Route 50. West on Route 50, huh? Uh, lady, when you find him, get him to tell you one of his stories about his ex-wife. What stories are we talking about? Well, I, I uh, can't do justice to him. Try. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, just a vision of her in bed at night and a white hair remover on her upper lip. He couldn't look at her without laughing. And she get real mad, see? And the only thing that'll calm her down is these little round puddings that the kids take to school. Johnny said she ate a dozen at one time and chased it down with these chocolate diet drinks. And if she was still hungry, she'd get a pound cake and slice it up and put peanut butter on there. And... <laughs> so let me get this straight. All I gotta do is punch in a couple of numbers to this computer thing, and you're gonna let me go, right? That's right. Now go over there and find out the numbers written on Kurt's hand. Why does he got numbers on his hand? Because he knows all the words to every damn beer jingle, but he clutches on one crummy launch sequence. What's a launch sequence? Cut the questions and get over there! Look, Kurt. Just give me the numbers, okay? So I can get the hell out of here and find my chicken. <laughs> we can let this guy talk. He has nothing of interest to say, believe me. He is a miserable excuse for a man. We were planning to get married. Yeah. And then I find out he's been sneaking around with his former missus. Oh, jeez. Yeah. He tells me they just had a professional relationship. Can you believe that? Oh, I, I bet he's plenty sorry. Oh, that was sweet. Thanks. Now get back to work. I just want to hear what the guy has to say. Don't push any buttons, Joe. Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, listen, you gotta believe me. She's gonna destroy millions of innocent lives. Now, really, Johnny, you seem to be a pretty good judge of character. Do I look like someone who could be capable of doing something like that? I got news for you, Kurt. The guy with the gun always gets my vote. Now quit stalling and get the numbers from his hand! Open your hand, Kurt. No. Kurt, I got no troubles. So either open your hand, or I'm gonna be forced to do something very uncomfortable to you. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You couldn't remember that? I could do this job. Now, go over to the keypad. Yeah, right there. And punch in the first four numbers. Don't do it, Johnny. You shut up. Code red. Code red. First stage alert. First stage alert. First stage alert. Magnus option activated. Nella, please stop. I'm not listening to you. I don't care about you. I don't care anymore. Now, wait a minute, Nella. I haven't heard his side of this badly. I mean, I've been around a track a little bit myself. I mean, maybe I can help you guys out. All you need to know is we're just a couple of soldiers doing our duty. But, uh, I've never been in the army before, so, uh, I'm just gonna take your word for it, okay? Now, Johnny, we've got one more button to push. That red one, right there. Right here? Perfect. 
on five, four, three, two, push. That's it, I can go? You can go. Thank you. Always happy to help out my country. You moron. You just helped Nella launch a nuclear missile. Yeah. So? Well, I hope you two take care of little problems. Take care. Wait a minute. Don't you care about what you've done? You know, when this missile goes off, millions of people are going to die. Well, like I told you, Kurt, I got my own problems. Uh, just for curiosity's sake, uh, what's that baby going to hit? This missile hasn't been checked since 1963. Who knows where it'll land? Could be Vladivostok. Never heard of it. Well, maybe it'll go off course and land in Paris. <laughs> Those frogs, the only thing they're good for is fries. Well, it just might fall short and land in New York. New York! Wait a second, my mother lives in New York. Uh, so it finally hit home, pardon the pun. But how do we stop this thing? She has to give us the abort code. No. Honey. Be a good girl and, and tell me what to press here. Is, is, is it possible to turn it off? I suppose anything is possible. I should know. I've been through it all. Oh, jeez, I don't start crying. No, come on, he's a big jerk. Come on, you don't want nothing to do with him. He doesn't want nothing to do with me. Oh, now stop kicking yourself. I mean, you got a man and a woman locked in a room. Sooner or later, something's gonna happen. Unless one of them's a dog. Which, of course, you're not. Kurt thinks so. Mella, come on. But, well, I don't. You don't? No. No, actually, I, I think you're beautiful. You got great eyes and you got beautiful hair. And I love the way you hold your gun. <laughs> You're kind of cute too, Johnny. Yeah? Tell me the truth, the honest truth. Is there a woman in your life? No. No ex wife to go running back to? Well, I got an ex wife, but believe me, I run from her, not to her. Have you seen him? Yeah, that's Johnny Bago. You know, he saved my five year old son. I was trying to get him to take his thyroid pill. You know, just a little bitty thing like that. Couldn't get him to take it. So Johnny was showing him how easy it was. He said, you hold it in your hand like this, and you slap it back like this. Well, that's just what Craig did, but the pill went right up his nose. All the way up. Johnny, bless him, fished it out with a bobby pin. Yeah, I would have liked to see him stick around a bit longer, but... He had the wander lost, as he put it. <laughs> yeah, he was gonna drive down south, round Route 85, take that country road. Did he ever tell you any of those stories about his ex-wife? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Kurt and I were going to be having a little celebration our last day on the job. I brought a bottle of champagne to toast to our future. Does it matter? Does it matter that I'm thoughtful and considerate? No. Seems the only way you can get anyone's attention these days is to set off a nuclear holocaust. No, no, hey, listen. <laughs> If it's attention you want, now you have my full undivided, okay? Yeah, right. Oh, come on, honey, dry your tears, <laughs> and let's rethink this missile thing. What do you say? Well, I don't know. Would you like to, uh, share some champagne? Talk? Yeah, a quick last show, why not? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't think it, but to meet some interesting people down here. I met him. Some guy running for the Senate. A man who married a St. Bernard. And now you. Here's to meeting new people. 
with the slim hope that they are who and what they say they are. You know, I'm one of the first women they ever allowed in these silos. It was a real funsy little guys club down here. Yeah, they played cards, laughed, scratched. And once I came along, I ruined all their fun. Once, I opened up the coordinates drawer, and it was full of skin magazines. They gave me the silent treatment. But I stuck it out. I did my job better than any one of them. Made captain. Then they assigned Kurt to me. Yeah, he asked me to play cards with him. We played go fish. We danced naked. He made love to me. Johnny, would you do it with me? It what? Play go fish. Go fish, that's a freaking kid's game. Strip go fish. It's a lot more interesting. Okay, one quick hand, then you push those buttons and we stop this nonsense, right? Johnny, do you have any eights? Thank you. Now you have to take off a piece of clothing. Jax? No Jax. Say go fish. Go fish! I don't usually get this lucky. Visit to the farmer's daughter, huh, Johnny? Um, you got any fives? You're not very good at cards, are you, Johnny? It's kind of refreshing after always losing to Kurt. Ask me if I have any twos. You got any twos? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. Remember this one, Kurt? Veterans Day? There. I feel so much better. Much better enough to turn off somebody's buttons? Maybe. But first, we dance. I'm gonna play Kurt's in my favorite song. You know Edith Piaf? Yeah, sure, that's uh, Archie's wife, right? Oh. Mm. Oh, you're a very good dancer, right now. I'm not dancing. I'm floating. And you're my very own cloud. Oh, your cloud, huh? I guess that uh, makes you my, my wind. I love to dance. Well, you are a very good dancer. You already said that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I'm getting a little busy there. <laughs> you dance rather well yourself. Oh, my mother taught me how to dance. My mother taught me how to dance. 
Well, mothers do make life worth living. I mean, if anybody deserves to win the lottery, it's your mother. You know, we should turn off this missile thing. For our mothers. My mother's dead. I just want to remind you that we've only got 14 minutes before my mother gets a rocket in a skull. Oh, just one more dip, please. Okay, mm. just one more. Over. Oh, that's great. I mean, not that you weren't fantastic. Oh, Johnny, you weren't sent here by accident. You were sent here on a mission. And it's mission accomplished. You've restored my faith in men. I did? Oh, what do you say? We waltz back to the computer there and 86 that boat. Oh, Johnny, there are good men, honest men in this world. Johnny, kiss me. Oh, unless you feel like rejecting me like Kurt. Johnny! Hello. Who's that? I'm his ex-wife! That does it. Who's the slut? I am not a slut. I'm an officer in the United States Air Force. Any woman who's with him is a slut. <gasps> well, Beverly, as usual, you're miscontraining the entire situation. <laughs> who's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's Curtin. Well, why is he handcuffed? Or shouldn't a nice Catholic girl be asking? Curtin and Ella got into an argument. She got ticked off and launched off that missile. I'm telling you, Beverly, I'm not kidding. That's a real freaking missile. And it's ready to go off in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes. Well, that's just enough time for me to put the cuffs on you and take you away. Up against oh. the wall and spread them. Beverly, is the frisking necessary? Only if it's humiliating. I thought you said you were his ex-wife. I am. I am also his ex-parole officer. And at the moment, I'm a deputy with the homicide department of the NYPD with a warrant out for his arrest. More deception? Oh, well, Johnny, isn't it just like you to start a new relationship and not mention that you're wanted for murder? Murder? I was framed, and I'm not starting a new relationship. No? Then why were you in bed with this woman? Because I was just trying to make her feel better. Well, don't do me any favors. Oh, don't get upset, Nella, okay? Can I talk to you for a minute, please? Come here. Look at that. That missile's ready to go off and maybe land on New York. Great, maybe there'll finally be a place to park. Beverly, would, would you open your eyes? We've got some very important things to deal with here. Nella's upset with Kurt because Kurt wants to get back with his missus. <laughs> so out of spite, she's like, she's the... She's, she's feeling a little low right now, if you know what I'm talking about. You're not kidding? No, I'm not kidding. I've been where you are. I've sent a few plates up against the wall in my day, if you know what I mean. But never a missile. Trust me, honey, this kind of thing could backfire. Yeah, right. Like, I've got so much to lose. A move like this could affect your whole job evaluation. I mean, how's this gonna sail for us? They're always saying women are high strung. I can just see the headlines at the checkout counter. PMS flattens New York. You're always bitching. Mm. All I want is what we all want. A little honesty, some respect. Tickets to Le Mis on our birthday. Is that asking? So much. Could I step out of my role for just a second here? 
want to do something for you. Move over here into the light. Yeah. This is going to change your whole life. You know, natural light is better, but this isn't too bad, considering... Oh, those eyes. They're just begging for shadow. Let's see? A little smidget here. A little mascara. You are going to be one striking woman. <laughs> Change jobs, Beverly. Mm -hmm. And listen, you do this for yourself. Because when you feel good about yourself, that's all you need. You don't need that bum anymore or that bum. Believe me, honey, you got a whole new life ahead of you. Now, if you don't mind, can I take my prisoner now? Let's go. Hey, Come hey, on. hey Beverly, what are you nuts? What about my mother? That's what I say. What about your mother? What do you want? What do you want? To say goodbye? What? <laughs> You see those flashing lights behind you? That means malfunction. That means that the launch doors haven't opened up all the way. I'll drop a note to my congressman, okay? No, 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 I don't think you understand me. If the launch doors haven't opened up all the way, that means that the bomb, the missile's gonna explode right here. That means everything's gonna be destroyed within a hundred mile radius. You are gonna be a shadow on the inside of a crater 50 miles deep. How poetic, Kurt. I didn't know you were capable of that. Fun, fun, sweetheart, but you be a good little soldier and stop this thing right now. You see what I got here? Go ahead. Scissors beats paper, and I got a missile. Well, there you have it, Beverly. Thanks to your big mouth, we're all gonna die. Well, she's gonna die, too. She doesn't want to die. Do you? I don't care if I die. I don't want to live in a world where there's no love for one another. I mean, look at you two. You make our relationship look healthy. That's true, Nella. Five minutes and counting. Five minutes. We only got five minutes. I don't suppose it helps if we put cotton in our ears, does it? Well, since we're all going to die, I might as well get this off my chest. I've been a pretty big stunt to you, haven't I, Beverly? Well, that's a revelation. Well, I just want to let you know one thing, Beverly. After all these years, I, uh, I really loved you. Come on. No, no, Beverly, I'm serious. Kurt, no, I want you to hear this. You see, I, all these years when I would never come home late at night because I was out playing cards or going out to the track or eating out with the fellas, I bet you thought I was having a good time, didn't you? Well, if you weren't, you sure had me fooled. Yeah, I did. I did have you fooled. Well, you want to know the truth is? It was tearing my heart out. It was tearing my heart out because because I couldn't be with you. And I didn't have the, the guts to tell the fellas, hey, I want to go home to someone that loves me. That's me too, Nella. I was like that. You did love me. Didn't you, Beverly? Beverly, I... Sweetheart, I, I need to notice while there's still time. Yeah, I loved you, Johnny. <sighs> she loved him, Kurt. Hey, do me a favor. You don't have to eat his bunker tape, would you? One last, uh... A little spin? Before we go? Why not? We were good together, Johnny. Then you turned into a jerk. Yeah, I know. Why'd you always come home so late, Johnny? Well, who can say, Beverly? A lot of times I was late because I was walking around the block thinking of a good excuse as to why I was late. Yeah? Well, what about the holes in my brand new blue velour sofa? Was that really moss or did you have something to do with that? You remember Mickey Zoot? Hmm. Well, he accidentally squeezed off a couple of rounds when the Knicks lost the playoffs. <laughs> Sorry, Beverly. So I have to do the whole aggravating mess I put you through. You know what else? 
And if I could do it all over again and make it right by you, I would. You mean marry me again? Yeah. Oh, Kurt, there's something I have to tell you. No, Nella. There's something I have to tell you. You were right about me. I was a stupid coward. I was afraid of making a commitment. If I had to do it over again, you and I would do tilt a whirl. <laughs> it wouldn't have to be tilt a whirl. Yes, it would. Well, what do you mean if you had to do it over again? If you guys have made up, then let's turn this thing off. There's still time. Not enough. Can't we try? We gotta try. Try, <laughs> I'm so sorry to put you all through this. I'm so sorry. Well, it's a little late for that. T minus five seconds. Bye, Nella. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Beth. Hey, it didn't go off. Yeah, how come it didn't go off? I have a little confession to make, Kurt. Last Thursday, when you were having your little dinner with Cheryl, yeah. They came and dismantled the missile. We're not gonna die! Ella, I don't believe you did this. Well, I suppose it was a bit overboard, but I was so afraid of losing you. And now I've gone and made a complete mess of everything. I wouldn't blame you if you still wanted to go back to Cheryl. What? What, to make spark plug earrings and spoon bracelets? Nella, I'm not going back to Cheryl. I meant what I said. I was weak. But after listening to Johnny here, I realized that if a guy like that can open his heart to love, so can I. I love you, Nella. I just know that I'll never find anybody who loves me as much as you do. Ain't this great, Bev? We're not gonna die. What do you think of that? This is what I think. Come on, Johnny, I'm taking you in. You gotta be putting me on. Hey, what are you doing? He could have run, you know, but he stayed. He stayed to save the world. Shut up, he saved himself as usual. Beverly, didn't, didn't you learn anything in the last five minutes? Yeah, I learned I can be just as big a liar as you. Well, maybe I was telling you the truth. All right, like you'd marry me again. <laughs> well, not now, you nutty bitch. Don't move, Beth. That was just a warning egg. You know, Nella, we got a real problem here. Right. I don't know about you, but uh, I've grown kind of fond of our Johnny here. Hey! Yes, I know what you mean. What do you think you're doing? Beverly, why don't you come over here and sit down, okay? Sit on down. You can't do this. You're doing it. You can't do this. I'm an officer of the law. Beverly, calm down. Oh. Oh. Goodbye, Johnny. Thanks for the dance. Wait, you have no idea who he is? He's a murderer! Hey, let's push some buttons. It's a lot of fun, babe. Mm -hmm. Clarky! And I was just beginning to think that you were a man. Kurt. Champagne? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nella. I feel like a little goldfish. Dear Ma, I hope this letter finds you well and in good health. As for me, I'm still on the road, one step ahead of Beverly. She may have lost 75 pounds, but she's still carrying around a two-ton grudge. 
I don't think she's never gonna forget me. It makes me think of the time you poured a pot of boiling fish broth on Pop's head. His hair never did grow back in that spot behind his ear. And I guess every time you looked at him, it reminded you of when you caught the old man rolling the dough with Miss Fusco in the back of the bake shop. He said he was just helping to make focaccia, but you never wanted to talk about it. See, I'm coming to think that when two people don't talk, don't really level with each other. A little thing could turn into a big spasaccio. Hell, the whole world can blow up. Not to get dramatical, but when you rest your little head on that pillow tonight, think of me. You know, good son, may just save the whole freaking world today. And a chicken a boot! Sleep well, Ma. Love, Johnny. Listen, Clucky, a couple eggs a day and it won't hurt you, okay? Hey, you like music? <clears throat> Makes the nights go by faster. Don't forget that.